Hello everyone, you are watching Learn Easy with us. We provide educational and training videos every day. To stay updated with our latest content, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Please share your valuable feedback in the comments below after watching the video. Without any delay, let's get started. Ready? Let's dive into today's topic. Now let's explore the OpenAI team feature. If you go down and click on my plan, you'll see that I am currently a Plus user, but there's a team subscription tier that has now become available. In this tier, you have a higher messaging cap on ChatGPT. You are able to create and share GPTs with your workspace. You have an admin console for your workspace management, and you can opt out of having OpenAI train on your data. So let's go ahead and upgrade it to Teams. We're going to create a workspace name, putting the name of my company, and select some billing options. Now, one thing to note with Teams is that you are able to do this annual plan of $25 a month, or you can do a flexible plan of $30 a month. However, there is a two seat minimum, meaning if you want to upgrade to Teams, you cannot buy just one seat, you have to buy two. So for that reason, I am going to select this flexible plan so that I'm not committing to an entire year, even though this is a discount and I anticipate that this is something I will use. For now, we're gonna use the flexible plan just in case this doesn't have enough features for me to keep. Continue to billing. Here we have our invite team members page, so we can import from a CSV with this upload, or you can type in the emails of the people you would want to invite. So let's go ahead and invite Julian at leapyearlearning.ai. Hit enter and next. We're going to check his role here. We'll make him an owner and we'll send invites. Now let's continue to ChatGPT. So welcome to the Leap Year Learning Workspace, made for use at work. By default, chats in this workspace are not used to train our AI models. This is great. This is in case you have some company sensitive data that you don't want OpenAI to know. So this is really wonderful. Ask away. ChatGPT can answer questions, help you learn, write, code, brainstorm together and much more like normal. Check your facts. While we have safeguards, ChatGPT may give you inaccurate information. It's not intended to give you advice. This is just to cover their bases because they don't want to get sued. So, okay, let's go here. What is my role? Business owner. What kind of work do we do? Education, continue. And here we have our team interface. You can invite members here. You can click here and you'll see my personal account is one click away. And now my team account pulls up a different version. We can manage the workspace here. So we can invite different members. We can see our pending invites. We can search here. We can click through our members. We can click through our billing. We have our settings here. And this is if we want to allow GPTs created outside of our workspace here. So if we do not want any custom GPTs made from outside of our workspace, we click don't allow. And if you want to allow that, you can click allow here. And then below we have the enterprise settings. If you click leap here, learning, we can upload a custom workspace image, a logo, we can change the name here, and we can go back to chat. So here you can make custom GPTs that are only available in your company workspace. Let's say you have a marketing department and you have a branding department, graphic design, and then you had a sales department and coding. You can have each department make their own custom GPT to help them with their specific tasks. And then all of those GPTs would be available for the whole company to see here. That's really exciting because that way, if you were in say the graphic design department and you had a marketing question, you could interact with the marketing GPT right here, which would be trained on all of the company's data and objectives that they have, which would be extremely useful. And remember that OpenAI will not be training on this data. Because we have allowed other custom GPTs to be available, we can see the GPT store here with all of the custom GPTs available. But remember, we can always turn this feature off if we do not want anything from outside of our own company. Beyond that, this works just the same as ChatGPT always does. You can type your questions in here, it'll answer, and your chat will be saved here on the left. So with Teams, you get a higher messaging cap, you get more of a company feeling, and really what you're getting is more privacy. You're getting the ability to share company data without the worry or concern that the data will be trained on. So if you're looking for this collaborative type workflow and you were maybe hesitant to really fully implement ChatGPT into your company because you didn't want your data to get out there, this might be the right fit for you. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Please leave your thoughts below so we can discuss more about the topic. If you'd like to suggest a video that could help the community, feel free to message me on X or Instagram. We also share short videos on Instagram, so make sure to follow us there. Feel free to reach out, we'd love to hear from you, and might even create a video based on your suggestion.